Angela Vaughn, Hobby Knight. Do you know why you've been brought here today? No, why? For you stand accused of a crime most foul. What crime? The crime of being a fake geek girl. <gasps> what? I'm not a fake geek girl and I'll prove it to you. Prove it you will, for I have scoured the internet and I have found a, um, well, it's a quiz that was approved and edited by the Pro Profs editorial team about Warhammer 40k knowledge, and I can't think of a of a higher institution of lore to get my quizzes from. So you know have, what? Neither can I. Praise oh. the Amasaya. Praise the Emperor. So this is how we're going to make it work today. Okay. Because I want the people watching at home to get to play along. We Excellent. Have a, we have a series of questions here, folks. Each one does have multiple choice. Okay. However, if you can answer it without the multiple choice options, we'll give you three points, Angela. Okay. If, say, you need those three options, or sorry, the four options, mm -hmm. there are four options per question. Of course, of course. Then you will get one point. Okay, understood. All right, and I will ask each question before giving the four options to allow our fair viewers at home the ability to test themselves against you. Excellent. Very I wish good. all of you luck. I wish myself more luck because now that we've started this, I am mildly afraid that I'm just gonna get them wrong. But <laughs> let's go, let's go. All right. These questions do theoretically go from easiest to hardest. Okay. Question number one. What is tactical dreadnought armor also known as? What is Tactical Dreadnought Armor also known as? Uh... Oh, shit. That is, that is, that is, that is not great. That I will be honest with you. Um, I'm trying to think, is it just... Okay, you don't know. We're going I, to the options. Yeah, we're going to the options. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I Your options are Power Armor, Artificer Armor, Terminator Armor, or Carapace Armor. Carapace armor? Is that your final answer? Yes. That is incorrect. <laughs> Tactical Dreadnought armor is more commonly referred to as Terminator armor. Wait, d Tactical Dreadnought armor is Terminator armor? Really? It's more, more that Dreadnought armor is Tactical I I, I armor, understand. Yes. I understand. Oh, this is not voting well. Yeah, this Terminator is armor is well. the slang term for oh. it. Oh. Technically. I actually... Okay. I mean, this is not starting off well, but I genuinely did not realize that Terminator armor was a slang for it. I thought that was just what it was called. My bad. Question two. Okay. What fortified world of the Imperium watched over the Eye of Terror? Cadia? Is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct. Cadia yes. is in fact. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's why Cadia fell was because like... I should have given the options for the people watching at home, but I have a feeling most of them knew that one already. That's fair, that's fair. I'm glad I knew that one. Redemption! <laughs> okay, question number three. Which orc clan is known for a love of speed? Speed Freaks. But which clan? Speed Freaks is actually a group of orcs that go oh. between different clans. This is a clan that is predominantly, like more than anything else, is made up of, of speed freaks. Oh, okay, give me the options because I actually don't know off the top of my head then. I thought speed freaks was the clan, like. No, no, speed freaks is uh, more. Or just the like group, I, I see. Yeah, okay, go ahead, give me the like, options. It's kind of like Devastator Marines are in all of the Space Marine I get chapters. You. Yes. I get you, okay. Speed freaks are in all of the Orc clans. Understood, okay, then give me the clan options. Evil Sons. Okay. Goths. Snake bites or blood axes. I I am going to I'm going to guess evil sons is that because your final I answer? yes that is my final answer and my logic is is snake bites definitely aren't it because I run snake bites themselves and they are they are more like feral tribally like that goth I wanna say are like big weapons I think and then what was the last one. Uh, the one you have not said is blood axes. Blood axes just sounds more like 
just like axes and like standard orc type orcs. So I'm going to say evil sons. That is correct. Yes. Um, evil sons are the most obsessed clan with speed, sort of most. Do they have the most sport. vehicles then? Is that what yes, it is? Yes, they have okay. a lot of trucks. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And bikes and all of that. Got now, it. Now, uh, one thing you did get kind of wrong was what you said about goths. Oh, yeah. Goths are the infantry boys. Oh. Gosgol Thraka. Got it. Okay, very cool. Got is, it. Is that. So Understood. That's what that is. So, after three questions, we are at four points. For question number four. I can't believe I got the first one wrong. Me too. <laughs> All right. Why does the Space Wolf Dreadnought, Bjorn the Fell Handed, have the title Fell Handed? Or I think a better way to, to ask this question is how did he get that nickname slash when did he get that nickname? I don't know when he specifically got it, but I. I think it's because he lost a hand in combat, but I don't. This is no. a fair. Uh, that is a fair <laughs> observation for a space. I brain. don't. Yes. I okay. Listen, I'm on Magnus' side. I don't know very much about the space wolves. Please give me the options. Okay, because before he was interred into the dreadnought, he fought with a power fist. Okay. Because he only ever killed with one hand. Because he lost his arm during the Battle of Prospero. Or no one knows. Okay, I definitely think people know. I'm gonna say C because he lost it, his arm in the Battle of Prospero. That seems like the most logical to me. That is correct. Yes. Okay, yes. Good. Yes, he lost it during the Battle of Prospero. He fought bravely despite the injury. And I'm not 100% sure. I don't know my Space Wolf Lord very well if that's where he fell. Okay. To then be in turn or into, not, but... My assumption would probably be yes, but I don't know. Space Wolf fans, tell me down in the comments below. There we go. All right, on to question number five. All right. The Chaos Lord Typhus. You my should boy. know this. I, okay. You used to play oh, uh, okay. Death Guard. Let's go, let's go. Was once known as whom? What was his name before he took the name Typhus? I... In the back of my head, know this, but I, off I the top of my head. Before I give you options, if you can just give me his last name, I think I'll give you credit. I literally read it randomly a few days ago, and I don't remember why. I think because I was looking, I looked him up for some reason. I want to say it was like a, a a slight variation of typhus. I think that's a fair assumption, but if you can't give it to me. I just give me options. the options. Yeah, give me the options because I can't give it to you off the top of my head. Like I want to say Typhus. Okay. The Red Wake. Mm -hmm. Captain Callus Typhon. Captain Erasmus Tycho. Magnar Titus. Rhea? Typhon. It was Typhon. It I, was, in fact, I was like, I know. Callus Typhon. Okay, yes. I was like, oh, that's why I was having a hard time remembering it, but also did have it in the back of my head because I thought it was funny that his name was Callus. All right. On to question number six. I've gotten some of these. Yay. <laughs> oh, this is, this is a question I actually get wrong all the time. Oh, good. That bodes well for me. Although there were 18 founding legions, 20 are known to have been created by the emperor. Who are the two outcast legions? What numbers? Three and 17. Okay, that is wrong. Damn it. However, I will go ahead and give you the options because it yes, is a hard please. one. Two and 11, two and 14, three and 11, or five and 12. It's definitely not five and 12. Is it two? I thought it was three. Dark Angels is number one. Who would be the third if it's not them? It must be number, they must be number two. Well, what is, please tell me the options again with the twos. 11 and 14. I think it's two and 14 then. That is incorrect, it's two and 11. Damn it! I apologize, but to be honest, you got closer than I probably would have. Oh, so I knew, I knew it was an early one and I thought, I knew it was in the teens. I just couldn't remember where, obviously. 
So it was, it's two and 11? Yes. So who's number 14 then? Um, let's see, 14th Legion. So that I can apologize to the fans of that Legion for forgetting their Legion. <laughs> um, that would be... The Dusk Raiders. I'm sorry, Dusk Raider fans. Just so you know, that's you. Death Guard? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> negative 700 points. <laughs> All right, well, so in that case, she is currently up to negative 600 and... <laughs> no, 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 I take it back. I take it back. Only you're, 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 the, you're the game master. You get to tell me how many points I have. <laughs> All right, right now on question number seven, you currently have six points. All right. <laughs> All right, number seven. Yes. Which Tau commander has been classified as renegade by his own race? Far? Mm -hmm. Far what? Far what? Far, hold on, I'm thinking, hold on. I stopped saying it because I wasn't sure. Um, oh, fuck, what are the names of the Tau commanders? I don't know Tau lore. Well, um, I know it's, it's the, it's, I assume it's the famous one that like, Commander Farseer? Is that his name? Is that your final answer? That's my, that's my guess for the, the, trying to get three points. That is incorrect. Okay, give me the options. Long Knife, Bright Sword, Pure Tide, Farsight. Farsight then. That is correct. Damn it, that was the other thing I almost said and I should have just said it. That's why I was like, what? What was that? I know, I know. Oh, dang it, I'm so, ah, oh, I knew that. I knew that. All right, moving mm -hmm. on to All question right. number eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did a wounded Marnius Calgar duel and eventually vanquish at the Battle of the Sepulchre? I have no freaking clue. No idea? <laughs> no idea, please give me the options. A demon prince. Okay. A Necron Lord. An Avatar of Cain. Or the Swarm Lord. The Swarm Lord? That is incorrect. No, no, sorry, 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 sorry. I was that was a, that was that was me going. Who's the Swarm Lord? You play Tyranids. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That didn't. That didn't. It didn't click in my head. I'm blanking. I'm panicking because I'm I'm sucking. I'm panicking because I'm sucking, and I'm worried I'm gonna have my geek card revoked. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> um. Okay. Sorry. That was not. A, that was not my guess. That was um, me trying to remember. <laughs> that was a very like confident not. No. Guess. That was that was me going question mark. Um. Okay. So the question is is. Who did Calgar duel and duel? vanquish at the Battle of the Sepulchre? A demon prince, a Necron lord, or an avatar of Cain, since I told you it's not the Swarm Lord. I wasn't, I didn't think it was probably gonna be the Swarm Lord anyways, because Sepulchre- You have a miniature for him. I know. Wait, for Calgar? For the Swarm Lord. Oh yeah, uh, yes, you're right, I do, I do. I just, listen, I forgot. I, my brain wasn't in Tyranid mode and I was blinking and I was like, is that like tied Do you have an answer? I do. Necron. That is incorrect. Damn it. it was an avatar of Cain. Oh, it was an avatar of Cain. That was, I actually, that was not, I was between Demon Prince and, and, and Yeah, so it was unfortunately, Necron. which is reflective of the battle that um, Fulgrim actually had with an avatar of Cain during the Horus Heresy. Oh, okay. Cool, um, I did not know that. Yeah, it was when um, Eldrad Ulthoi, uh came to Fulgrim and tried to like stop everything from happening. Oh, um, yes, I think we've Fulgrim, watched him. Yeah, Fulgrim ended up thinking that he was, you know, a, a Xeno. Yeah, working against. Him. And so he attacked and he ended up like beating a, a Avatar came to death with his hands. Wow. Yes. My goodness. All right, speaking of the Eldari. Okay, good. This will be a question I probably, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm failing. I'm For question sorry. number nine. <laughs> Who is the High Admiral of Craftworld Beyondin? Ulthmon? No, is that Ulth? Ulth? El, are you talking about Eldrad Ulthron? Yes, Eldrad Ulthmon. Is that his? Is that how you say his name? That is, yeah, that is how. It okay, is. that's who I, I think. I screw it up too. Okay, that's who I think it is. That is incorrect. Oh God, he is a High um, Farseer. 
Oh. He is not a high admiral. I see. He is one of the four options, however, so... Okay, your well, other three, I've eliminated one, then. Your other three mm -hmm. are Illic, Knight Spear, Azurman, and Prince Uriel. I'm going to guess Prince Uriel. That is correct. Okay, because that name sounded familiar, and I, I'm sorry, I don't know much about the Eldar. That's one of the, the, the Xeno factions that I have not, despite Chaos Cultists' interest in them himself, have not delved that much into and don't know the names of very well. All right, for question 10, the last of the easy questions. Oh gosh, okay. Which orcs are labeled as such due to, basically, okay, I'm gonna actually rephrase this question a little bit. Okay. What is the name for orcs whose role in orc society is to take care of and be the trapper of squigs? I it, it is not Squig Boy. No, 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 it's not. Uh, Squig Herders? That is fair, because I do think that is a unit in the game, but that is not what their slang name is. Oh, the four okay. Four choices Yes, what are the four choices then? Herders, okay. Hang Boys, Mad Boys, and Wild Boys. I feel like because I had the word in there, just because I added squig in front of it, I said herda. <laughs> like, I, come on, come on, right, come on. All right, all right, all right, I will give you that one. I, I was like, I knew that one. All right. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, all justice right. for Angela. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to jump into the video to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially if you're enjoying the content that you find here. And if you're into the spicier side of the hobby, well, my only fanatics VIP page is currently 50% off through the end of the month for new subscribers. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, use the link in the video description below, and I hope to see you there. Now let's go ahead and get back to the video. Thanks Angela for that very important message from our sponsors. Now, other Angela. Yes. We are at the end of the easy part of the quiz. How are you feeling in this this trial of your fake geek girldom? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not feeling super confident. Do you feel like your your feet are being held to the coals? Um, a smidge. My hope is is that I'll blow it out of the water and actually nail all the harder questions because the easy questions were just so easy that they threw me off. All right, moving on to the medium questions. Hit me. You have 11 points okay. after the first 10. I don't remember if I said that, so I'm just gonna repeat it just in case. You have Excellent. 11 points. Question 11. What did the Ultramarines use to prevent Necron warriors from reanimating during the Damnos, the Damnos campaign? You would think I would know this because I do recall this happening because this was like ninth edition. It was near the end of it, I believe. Yeah, near the end of it. But I will be I didn't know this, so you I would be shocked if you do. But honestly, I stopped caring a little bit about the narrative because they just kept kind of do you want your changing options? things. Yes, please give me my options. Because like, I don't I'm, think you're gonna guess. No, this no, one. no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Electricity, water, magnetism, or vortex grenades. What options these are. Right? Because I would not have known. I am going to wildly guess, because I have no bloody idea, magnetism. And due to your faith in Magneto, you are correct. Yes! <laughs> I was trying to think, I was like, water doesn't make sense to affect Necrons. I have never, ever... Also, how would the Ultramarines use it? Yeah, I'm like, what did they do? Rain on them and have them rust? That doesn't make sense. So water was out. Um, vortex grenades seemed to like in like world. So I actually kind of thought that it might be wrong for that reason because it was too obvious of an in world plant, right? And then I was like, okay, well electricity maybe, but I feel like maybe instead working with the fact that they have metal bodies would be the better answer, which is why I just went with magnetism. Fair enough, but apparently electromagnetic fields can screw with the regeneration process. Apparently. It seems like the Mechanicus should have figured that out. A long time ago, maybe. Which of the following factions, for question 12, Yes. 
is not featured in the Warhammer 40k tabletop game. Okay. Um, I'm oh. gonna I'm gonna need options. Yeah, I'm you're sorry. Need the options for this one. So what I'm going to say. Can I get two points? You can have two points. Yes. The options are. And that why this is in the, the second 10, I don't understand. I don't either. This is kind of a weird question to feel, be here, but okay. Space Marines, Orcs, Tau, Elves. Uh, elves? Yes, I don't know why. Listen, it's a stupid question. They, they, they're the ones who had it in there. Sometimes you get an easy one. That should have been in the first section, it definitely. And maybe, okay, uh, maybe my theory about these questions getting easier as they get harder for <laughs> me will be in fact correct. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And okay, and speaking of easier questions for you. By what title do the Dark Eldar refer to the Chaos God Slanesh? She Who Thirsts? That is correct, yes. Excellent. I was like, um, there's a number of names that they could call her, but I think She Who Thirsts is the most like prolific. Which Tyranid organism is usually at the vanguard of a Tyranid invasion? And I'm, I want to be very specific with this question. Which, Which Tyranid, Tyranid organism, organism is usually at the vanguard of a Tyranid invasion? And just because I'm feeling mildly self-conscious and stupid right now, vanguard is the forward. Yes. Okay. Von Ryan Lichters? I will accept that. The answer was Lichter. Yes, perfect, hell yeah! That's the newest one. I just know their name because it's a unit literally that I run in my, my combat patrol, so. Yes, I'm very, I'm being very specific about the Tyranid organisms uh -huh. because normally gene stealers would be on the planet potentially before Lichters, mm, but, but they're they are human. not technically the tyranid. Tyranid no they're organisms. not no they they're don't not. have the keyword no they do not <laughs> have the keyword you're absolutely right because otherwise i would beautifully combine them into one so mesh very of... good cool perfect <laughs> all right now let's smack her back down from this high horse oh gosh course. dang it the Tau race has accomplished how many spheres of expansion my off the cuff Wild guess to try to score myself three points is 23. That is incorrect. Okay, give me the options. Two, four. Oh, this is not voting Three well. or five. Three. That is incorrect. Is it five? Correct answer is five. But it's between I, three and five. I, I like, didn't expect gonna... you to know that much about the fish people. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know much about the Tau. So we are on to question 16 to just do a quick point summary. You were Also, I'm apparently sorry. very optimistic for the Tau, thinking that they completed 23 of them. <laughs> uh, you are currently sitting at 20 points total. Okay, you know what? Now I'm actually feeling a bit better. Yeah, you've gotten a couple of threes. That's helped. For number 16. Okay. Which Imperial Guard commander is known for reconquering nearly a thousand worlds in a seven-year campaign to take back worlds once lost to the Imperium of Man? I will even give you a hint on this one. He is known as the patron saint of the Astra Militarum slash Imperial Guard. I feel like I know this because of text-to-speech. But I don't actually know if I'm thinking now of the right dude. My okay. my initial guess is Kyphus Kane. That is absolutely incorrect. Okay, I thought so. Not I, even close. I didn't think so. Okay, give me the option. Kyphus Kane is a commissar, anyway. Oh, is he a commissar? Okay, sorry. Yes. My, my my apologies. Um, go ahead then, and he with his the song. Kyphus, in my head. Kyphus, 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 yeah, Kyphus I'm sorry. Kyphus I just every Kane. time we bring up like the Imperial Guard and talk of any about their like leadership, that song immediately pops into my head. Right, he's not, he is not one of the options. Okay, anyways, go ahead and give me the options then. Because I do actually think I still know this, but tell me. Or give me the give me the, the four options. options are Lord Castellan Ursicar E. Creed. Okay. Lord Solar Macarius. Lord Mogul Kamir. Lord Graf Harazan. I think it's Creed. 
That is incorrect. Oh, it's in, is it Solar then? It is Lord Solar Macarius. Lord I knew Solar both Macar of those names, and I knew like Ursula Creed like recently took over. Ursula Creed is the daughter yes, of, of of Lord Creed. Former, um, Arcadia. he is the former, Dang, like, that's what it was, commander in charge ah. of, of all military in Cadian. I think at one point he, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I think he had the modern title of War Master at one point oh, okay. when fighting the, um, an Abaddon crusade. Oh, very cool. Yes. Lord Solar Macarius. Yeah is the Imperial Guardsman you have seen depicted wearing golden armor atop a white horse. Yeah, the guy who has the helm that looks very Age of Sigmar that I don't specifically like because it looks a little too Age of Sigmar. Yes, but he was so zealous that the only thing that stopped his crusade was they actually reached the end of the known galaxy oh. and his men turned on him because he wanted to basically- Keep take, going? He wanted to crusade into the outer reaches. All right, bro just didn't want to stop. Yes, so. Moving on to question 17. Yes. Who was the very first Emperor's Champion? And you actually have reason to know this, and that is a hint for you. Because basically it means it has to be a character in your lore somewhere. I do, like, this is in my head. I remember it from, because they, they, this is like covered in like the, Within the first three Horus Heresy books yes, or something, right? Yes, I believe it might be. The character is in there, at least. I will tell you that much. <sighs> the Emperor's Champion. Do you know where the Emperor's Champion is most commonly or most famous for in modern 40k? Not modernly. I mm. I like I do remember this lore. Because it is a unit in modern 40k, but it's associated with one chapter above all others. Is it... Didn't he? Is it, give me I, can, I can't. I can't give a, a name. So give me the options, please. Give me the options, because I feel like I know this, but I like. I'm like. I've got several like names in my the four head. Four choices: the Primarch Rogel Dorn. Okay. Chief Custodian Constantine Valdor. Okay. Sigismund, or Malkador the Sigilite. Malkador the Sigilite, Sigismund, Chief Custodian Constantine Valdor, or the Primarch Rogel Dorn. I don't think it's Dorn. I'm torn between what was this? what was the third option? Sigismund. Sigismund. I I think. Sigismund stands out. I'm, I'm guessing Sigismund. That is correct. Yes. yes, I like. I can't remember why. I don't even remember who that is specifically off the top of my head right now. Like I'm drawing 100% blanks, but the name is glowing in my head. So Sigismund was one of the cap captains, excuse me, of the Imperial Fists during the um, Horus Heresy. Forgive me, he may have been first captain. I don't remember off the top I, yes, of my head. Yes, okay. But yes, he was anointed the Emperor's Champion during the Horus Heresy, wielding the Emperor's Blade yes. for a period of time. This has been carried on in tradition by the Black Templar. Templar, yes, okay, thank you. I was like, I knew it was tied, I couldn't remember if it was Dark Angels or Black Templar, so that's why I was like, I know it's tied to somebody. Yes, it's, I knew it's, it's tied, tied to Dorn. It's tied to the fist. Yes, but I was like, I wasn't sure who, and I knew it wasn't Dorn himself, because I don't remember, you like- You Dark Angels are tied to Dorn? That's not the right- No, you're, you're right, that's not right at all. That is not right at all. Moving God. on. Moving folks. on. Okay, so on question 17, she got one point. Now that Rogaldor is apparently the prime mark of the Dark Angels. He's not! Right? He's not! Lionel Johnson is! Lionel Johnson is! What is the name of the Dark Eldar warrior that holds the title of The Executioner? I... Give me the options, I don't know. Off the top Lilith, of my head. Lilith Hesperax. Drazar, the Master of Blades. Asdrubale Vect. Ictria Gularis. Well, and, the, and then repeat the question for me. Which of these characters is these dark elf, or sorry, dark Eldar warriors holds the title of the Executioner? The Executioner. I think it's Vect. 
That is incorrect. Vet is the master of like all dark Eldar culture. He's the homunculus guy. He's the he's the guy who runs everything. Oh, is he the guy that? Oh, he's the Vet he's runs the leader. Everything. Leader. Yes. Who's the homunculus guy? Forgive me, I don't. Remember. I don't remember off the top of my head. Fine, I, I was getting them confused. The I answer was, was Drazar, the master. I, that was my other guess, and I should have gone with it, because I'm like, well, he's got blades, so he's probably, he's probably an executioner. Pretty executioner. Yeah, I should have just gone with that. I just bet I knew the name back, so I went with it. All right. <laughs> Which Tyranid organisms are bred for the sole purpose of defending a hive tyrant? Think about it. It's simpler than it than you're going to make it for yourself. Hive guard? That is incorrect, okay. but it is a fair assessment. The three other choices. Okay. Dominatrix, Tyranid Warriors, or Tyrant Guard. Tyrant Guard. It is Tyrant Dang Guard. Dang it! Dang them for having two. The Hive Guards guard the Hive. The Tyrant Guards specifically guard the Tyrant. The way I should have known that. That's why I was like, oh, it's, but it's <laughs> simple. All right. And for... The final question in the medium category. Oh boy. God, we do we wait, so do we have like a hard and then like an extreme? Yes. Oh goodness, okay. Who currently wields the ancient power sword known as Moonfang? I actually don't know if I'm familiar with Moonfang. That sounds space wolfy. Your four options. Yeah, give me my options because I don't know. Kayvon Shrike. Kato Sicarius, it is I. Ragnar Blackmane. Or Corsaro Khan. And it's called a moon blade? It is, it's called a moon fang. Moon fang. I'm going to say Blackmane. That is incorrect. I would remind you that Black Mane, doesn't he wield like a big like rune blade? I don't know. I don't know anything about Space Wolves. I'm on Magnus's side. <laughs> but I mean, like, don't, shouldn't you know your enemy then? Do you know what? That's a fair point, but I have not Yeah, learned. Ragnar Black Mane wields a chain sword. Oh, okay. He well then, then who is the correct sword. answer then? The Khan. Ah, uh, okay. I was that was the other. I was like, it's probably gonna end up being the con, isn't it? It was the con, yes. Because unfortunately, Ragnar Blackmane does wield a massive, looks like it's on fire, but I think it's just really warm chain sword. I see. So all that's right. that's fair. I didn't know what the chain sword was called, so I was like, maybe it's called Moon Fang. I mean, it, it was it's deceiving because it's moons and fangs and they're gosh darn werewolves. Okay. Well, we have reached the midpoint in the fake geek girl trial of one and How am I actually doing? Because I feel like I started to go up and then I hit a sharp decline. Well, in the first round of 10 easy questions, you scored 11 uh -huh. points. In the second round of medium questions, yes. you scored a grand total of 11 points. Okay, so I'm at 22. You are at a mighty 22. Okay, you know what? I will take that. That is as if... I have answered every question correctly with, with the choices. Choice. So Plus I one. will so I will take that. Ah, but you say that for now, because in the next video, we will begin the true test in earnest. If you would like to see more of that, folks, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'd like to thank our patrons, because without you, we would not be able to make content like this. How else would I harass Angela like this for a good like hour of time to film? Um, also, the YouTube members, we thank you as well. You guys as well. I'm sorry I'm not used to this. I haven't done this in a while. Until next time, I have been the Chaos Cultist. And I have been Angela. And we'll see you next time. Have a good hobby night, everybody.